welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines. Live forever. What's going on over there? Craziness? Uh, what is this all about? Like this? Dink. Look in the couch. Where's the couch? Oh, there's the couch. Couch is a negative land. Well, negative land, that's okay. Negative land, that's fine. Let's go with negative land today. A little bit of this. Okay, the crazy colors and negative land. I'm gonna go sit over there. It's uh, Friday. I'm alive. Who would have thought we made it this long? We live life living. Saturday. No, Friday. Friday. I'm going to uh, start all three of these timers. Also, this timer. Egg timer. I know, lemon. Oh, they didn't make an egg timer. That's a lemon. Am I wearing them? Or am I exercising them? It's like a difficult balance we all face. Ooh, exercising versus ooh, using them up. You gotta drive your car once in a while, otherwise it's gonna die. But also, if you don't, if you do drive it and you're using it up, but maybe very slowly, how long does it take to use. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, a negative land. Woo! Yesterday I was here on uh, <laughs> Thursday at around um, what day is it? What day is today? Thursday. Oh, yes, we have Thursday. It must have been 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, same kind of days because I'm doing the same kind of thing. But that job is done now. Now I'm doing uh, nothing for a while. It was a gig job, kind of. So now the gig is over. We're doing other things, looking for things to do. But today was the final day at the gig job. Now I'm going to. Get another gig. I'm living gig to gig these days. Yesterday, the contract to contract, you know? That's what they say in the government. Now it's done with, but I'm probably going to get another contract job. Yesterday, um, on Thursday, though, I was here talking to Mr. Ginsu for a really long time. Freddie showed up at the end. Um, Mr. Ginsu, has a, we still have even more Mr. Ginsu messages. I didn't even listen to them all yet. So we'll listen to some of those Mr. Ginsu messages. Um, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Uh, Mr. Ginsu talking about the he almost got he was threatened by the police with a firearm in the 90s in Lacey. Um. What else? Probably other things. Hmm. Good food. I'm still not not eating. I'm still not eating. But I'm eating. I uh, I I'm not even eating a little bit. No, a lot. All the time. That's okay. Maybe I'm gonna forget about it. Don't worry about it. Yesterday. After the program, I sat around here because Freddie was here, so we're doing some uh, studio stuff, playing some Mario. Freddie was doing some studio thing. Afterwards, I uh, drove him to his car down the street. And we made the concern one time. I mean, it was like Christmas ago when I left here. 
I think that was called stolen. Oh, man, I should have waited. I could have given him a ride, but I waited for this time. I dropped him off to his car. His car was there, but I was like almost going to sit there and wait for him to go. But then I didn't. Um, you can have like an altruistic thought. <laughs> I mean, is it, is it better? Is it better to have no altruistic thoughts at all and then leave? Or is it better to have, I mean, or is it worse to have the thought? You're like, maybe I should stay here and go and wait just in case. And you're like, nope. No, no, no. It's like having a thought and not falling through with it, I think it's probably worse than not having it at all. Because then you could say it was a mistake. Instead, you're just like, nope, leave him. So there's like mistakes and I guess mistakes are, well, it depends on, depends on your perspective. Like, are mistakes better than like harm? Like if you don't want to do something because you're lazy, you don't want something because you just totally blanked on it. I think the, well, there's no negative consequences either way. Well, what if there was manslaughter versus murder? Which one is worse? Murder is worse legally, maybe ethically. Is man, I mean, manslaughter is like you, you can wake up one day and you, you feel good about your moral compass and then you accidentally commit manslaughter. But can you commit? Yes, you can. It's like a crime. There's that truck driver I heard. It's kind of a scary story about a truck driver. I don't know if it's a story about somebody, but uh, I heard that a truck driver was driving the semi truck and their brakes went out and then they ended up killing several people. And then they got charged with manslaughter and now they're in their life in prison. Life in prison. And, well, he was a black guy, and it was racism. But, uh, like if he was a white guy, would they give him life in prison, and manslaughter? They might still, but, I mean, it just doesn't stop the racism, so it's like you're definitely going right to jail or something. Um, oh. Somebody's calling right now. Oh, Mr. Ginsu. Hello? Hello? What the fuck, over? Mr. Ginsu, I'm here. Oh, that's a good fucking thing, because I'm having a bad fucking day. Oh, yeah? Tell me about it. Oh, quitting smoking is for the birds, motherfucker. Oh, yeah? You want to smoke, huh? Uh, quit smoking for a bird. Yeah. And while I'm while I'm fucking quitting smoking, I go get in line, go get my mom some fucking fish. Goddamn fucking cashier that I was about ready to go to. She's sick. I could see that. Oh my god. So, so I go to the next line. Um, the lady does this one stick. She got a lot of groceries. This guy in front of me has one or two things, and I got my fucking fish. And she puts up the fucking lane close sign. Uh huh. So fucking, I go back over to the fucking sick lady line. Uh -huh. And whenever I get my shit done, the chick over there to put the lane close sign. She's like, "Oh, I can help the next people." Uh -huh. Hey, fuck you! What in the hell? That fucking slut bag, motherfucking, what, I, I don't even know if I ever want to go back there again. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, she, you just gotta be fucking kidding me. She doesn't like you in particular, huh? I don't know. It, 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 I was screaming in my head the whole time, and I did not want to fucking scream at them for being so fucking stupid. But once they fucking said, oh... My lane's still open. I just put the close sign up because fucking I don't even fucking know, man. 
What, what was the symptoms of the one that you went to? She was sneezing or coughing or what? Speak into the mic, would you? Was she coughing? She was sick? Like, no, but she definitely was wiping her nose and then didn't use no hand sanitizer before she fucking, after she touched her fucking face mask and shit. And she was fucking touching everybody's bullshit. Dirty. So, That's rough. I don't know. So that just jerked my fucking chain. And whenever I'm fucking doing whatever this not smoking thing is, is I about had a cow. Yeah, do you think you think uh, she was trying to avoid you, the other cashier? You what? Was she trying to avoid you? No, she was just being stupid. And then she fucking was being helpful after I fucking left. Fucking went to the fucking sick person line. Fucking, you gotta fucking be kidding me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what the fuck? You got the you fish, though, huh? huh? Yeah. Trout? The fucking, I, I fucking am not fucking happy, though. That's one way to jerk my fucking chain. Was it, Was it trout? trout? Who fucking knows? Well, you do. You bought the fish. It probably smells. I I should really shut my fucking mouth. Trout? You, I should really shut my fucking mouth. Okay. I should really shut my mouth about the fucking that fucking situation because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're worked up about it. That's too bad. I don't want to smoke cigarettes. How long have you gone without, without smoking cigarettes in the years? A, a what? You Maybe. gotta speak into the mic uh, for fucking. Did you try I the gotta, patch? I gotta, I gotta put you on speakerphone or turn you up or something. Are you gonna try the patch? Yeah, I'm gonna. Patch one up on fucking somebody. I'll patch somebody's lip up. They fucking don't fucking knock that shit off. Yeah. yeah. Well, well that's, that's too bad. bad. Grocery, Grocery store, store inconveniences. <laughs> no, don't the patch put nicotine in you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, if you piss nicotine, you get fired. All right. All right. Um, so, that shit ain't gonna happen. That shit ain't gonna work. You have this job lined up? I... Uh, I don't fucking know. I'm having... I haven't used the internet in over a year and a half, fucking... Oh, I yeah? Can't even, I I tried to go on the internet today, and... It says that the fucking email address that I got, they can't even find it. Oh, so you, you just start smoking then, huh? So somebody's either jerking my chain, and I'm gonna have to go slit somebody's fucking throat when I find them, or I'm just being stupid and don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, you haven't been talking to your friend on the internet? I don't talk to nobody on the internet. Oh. I quit using the internet whenever I found that girl. When I quit talking to you, I quit using the internet. Now oh. I haven't used the internet since. And I had a touch screen motherfucker, which I didn't have to do a whole lot of fucking bullshit and fucking whatever I'm doing now using this mouse thingy. Fucking going around fucking Jesus Christ. It's bullshit. Yeah, not not, not a, a computer user, huh? huh? No. Wait, are, you, are you going to the library? Hell no. Where do you have a computer? I don't know. They got a computer over... I don't know. I can't really say a whole fucking lot. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't want nobody knowing who or what or where I am. All right. Did you, uh... Did you cook the fish? Because as soon as I tell you that, everybody's going to go over there, and then I'll never get on a computer. Yeah. yeah. Did you? It was like to get in my fucking way. It was like that toilet paper thing. 
I said, I got enough toilet paper to last five years, and then everybody went out and started buying toilet paper. Yeah, did you, uh, did you run out? And then there was a toilet paper shortage for fucking, Jesus Christ. That was like two years ago. Yeah, well, I still got fucking three years to go. I still got three or four years of toilet paper left. You bought five years worth? Well, it's not very hard because I don't use much. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yep, they, they didn't fucking touch me. I never, I was never affected by the toilet paper fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You and your uncle I still laugh, do? I was laughing at it the whole time going, what the fuck, man? You, you mentioned toilet paper and I got on there and nobody ever sees me walk out with toilet paper because fucking, I don't need it. Well, you bought, that's because you heard it too, it sounds like. I, I don't know who, who ran, I don't never heard of anybody who ran out of toilet paper. No, well, well, the shelves on Walmart were gone. They yeah. didn't have no toilet paper. They were gone at the, on the shelves, but I think everybody at home had it. Like, I don't know anybody who was like, I don't have any toilet paper. Um, it was something to the nature of I was going to trade you a couple pieces of toilet paper for something, and then everybody just did a run on toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, but nobody, nobody ever ran out because everybody afforded it. There was nobody who was like without, I think. Yeah, I don't, that's hard to say. I don't really know any particular person who actually ran out of toilet paper. Freddy's here. Uh, I remember going to the couch now, or the booth. But they sure did want to fucking have their five years worth. What's that? Oh, uh, Freddy bought a pastry this time. I was talking about it yesterday. Everybody now I'm still wanted eating. to collect their five years worth, so that they didn't have to be seen walking out of the store with fucking toilet paper every time they either come and go. Yeah. yeah. They thought it was a pretty fucking good idea. Did, did you ever hear anybody, um, Did you ever hear anybody that actually ran out of toilet paper? Like, I think we ran out of toilet paper at 1611, or at least uh, yeah, uh, the downstairs person did, and we had this, I had to take a roll from the studio. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep, because you couldn't buy it anywhere. So oh, wait, no, yeah. I remember now. We ran out, and what we did is we bought it from the gas station. I don't think the gas station's ever run out. Like, mm. you could just get by the roll. Buy it by the roll. Oh, okay. okay. I just never heard of anybody, like, actually having a problem where they didn't have it. I don't think they would talk about that. It's an embarrassing problem to have. Like, <laughs> I shit and I, I didn't wipe. What did I do? What do you do? Did you? Well, what you do is you just start taking your one dollar bills and wiping your ass, and then throw them in the wash them off, and that's when you launder your money. Oh. You wipe your ass with your money, Boom. and you launder your money. They yeah. have like cloth diapers or something. I don't know what you do with those. How does you that don't, work? You don't know what you do with those. No, I don't. You, you wash them with your the money. You line them with your money, and then they're reusable because you, you wash. Like you like dump the stuff in the toilet and then wash. Put those in. Put that in the laundry. Yeah, it's kind of making me sick, but I think that is like part of uh, having a child. Yeah, yeah. but, but then, yeah. then it's just in the laundry though, because that doesn't seem. Like yeah, but the laundry gets it out, I guess. I guess it's like the laundry is kind of like a toilet or something. The like dog, the dog pooped on stuff in the house, and we just had to wash it. Yeah. yeah. You like clean it up as best you can it, and then you wash it. Your laundry is gray water. It goes right to your toilet line and mm. gets down into the sewer. All right. All right. What's uh, what's the pastry? It's a morning glory roll. Morning glory? What's that? It's oh, like I think you're supposed to scrape most of the shit off into the toilet. Yeah. And yeah. Then, and then put it in the fucking laundry. I think you'd be better off that way, otherwise, you know, you might get a little surprise in a future load. Uh, yeah, you can get more than one load in your load. <laughs> well, we went to, my, me and my brother went to Costco like a couple of weeks ago, and they are fully stocked, and I'm sure everybody else is too. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why we're over there. What? Why were we even talking about this? You brought it up. Mr. Gintu likes talking about wiping his butt with money. <laughs> yeah. You brought it up. Yeah. You brought it up. I don't know why. That was because I was trying to save people money on toilet paper by laundering their money. That's why? Okay. Yeah. 
So uh, if you ever have toilet paper problems, well, then you don't really have toilet paper problems. You just need to wash your money off. I had a lot of problems with them. Uh, like, right before I went down, I remember that was like my biggest problem, is that my roommates were, um, you, or were they using the toilet paper? Or they weren't, they weren't replacing the toilet paper. They would finish a roll and not put a new roll out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think they were buying toilet paper either, were they? They were buying it. Yeah. Which was like one, one thing. Like, maybe... I think it was the combination. Like, if you buy it, then maybe you don't have to replace it. Yeah. I mean, you would think that would... It's like when someone takes out the trash, yeah. it yeah. shouldn't necessarily have to be the one who puts the trash bag back into the trash can. Yeah. But they they were buying it. Those people, they uh, left in, like, maybe, like, December or, like, Jan or February of 20. Uh-huh. And they were living in the basement. And they were pretty... Wow. they left right before the pandemic? Yeah, they were pretty awful to live with. Well, they were, like, mediumly awful to live with. Yeah. But if it were virus times, they would be all the way awful. Yeah. Because then you were forced to be in a place with others. So, um, they, they moved, and that was pretty lucky for us. One of my other units actually didn't move, but bailed somehow and then paid the rent. Oh, but that, nice. that's a great room. That was great. the best was, roommate you can have. It was. It was the best roommate. Uh, but we never ran out of toilet paper. That's lucky. I actually, I mean, yeah, I bought, I bought it today. They didn't pay the rent. Huh? They didn't pay the rent. One of my roommates, one of my other roommates, like, so two of my roommates left right before the pandemic. One of the other ones paid the rent. They did pay the rent, but then they were never there. I don't know where they were. What? So, That's nice of them. Yeah, it was basically like a storage unit for them or something. Um, well, what was I saying? Oh, the toilet paper thing. So, like, I, I just went to the store to buy toilet paper, like, last week. But before that, I didn't buy it since, like, for, like, a long, long, long time because um, I bought so much. You <laughs> stocked, stocked up. I stocked up just like everybody else, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And everybody, I swear, stocked up because they heard that I had five, six years with toilet paper and I didn't ever buy any. And they yeah. thought that was a pretty good idea and never would have to go fucking be seen walking out of the fucking store with toilet paper. Yeah, I heard they actually never even ran out of anything anywhere. It was just like, they just... Just at Walmart. Well, they ran out at what, at the store? But like... Yeah, I went, I went and there was no, not a fucking roll of toilet paper on the fucking thing. Yeah, but like, it's because everybody was buying it, not because there was any kind of shortage at all. You know, like there was like a rumor, there was a rumor of a shortage, and then everybody bought it, and it created like a shortage on the shelves, but there was no like factory shortage, and no like, like, whatever. What's toilet paper made out of trees? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Or bamboo, perhaps. Bamboo. I think the bamboo toilet paper is because they're trying to like be uh, environmental, and say like we're not made out of trees. Most, most of it's made out of, what, what, I mean, is this like all the same kind of trees, I Mostly guess? trees, yeah. Mostly what kind of trees is paper made out of? Uh, all sorts of kind of trees, softwood. Whatever they can get, probably. Birch? Probably, uh... Pine? I would say my guess is, uh, like a fast-growing tree, like maybe a... What is Pseudosugo menzizia? That's like a <laughs> That's false, a tree. false, uh, pseudosugo. Recycled paper. Douglas fir, maybe. It, it, it's no, like it, tree farm it, stuff. Douglas fir is more of a hardwood, though. That's for building and construction. Is it? But whenever they chip it up, once they got the chips, they fucking make freaking uh, fly that press board shit. How is it so soft if it's made out of wood? It's, I don't know why they, why do they call it soft wood, Mr. Ginsu? It's like not actually soft. Well, the wood is soft. The wood is soft because like you hit, you hit a piece of soft wood with a hammer, it's going to uh, like dent it. Yeah. 
Do you no, think no, it's not going to do that for hardwood? Some woods yes. are hard and some woods are soft. Yeah, they're, they're tied with soft wood. Isn't like balsa wood hardwood? But it's no, like. balsa wood is very, very soft. What? No. Really? Some wood, some wood if you like hit it with a hammer, it'll leave like a bigger dent than other wood. Soft wood, hardwood. Like, I, I can. You went to wood shop? Uh, we didn't have that at my school. Mm. Oh, that sucks. Um, no, I, I, there's hardwoods and softwoods, and they make them out of softwood. I took wood shop. I don't think, now I think that it's not a good idea to let, like, a 12-year-old use heavy machinery at school. But nobody, I never saw anybody cut off their fingers, or even, even cut themselves, like, a little bit, I guess. Yeah, the first time I ever walked into the wood shop, my teacher was showing us the fucking band, the table saw and how to use the table saw and shit. And he went to shove this piece of wood through the table saw and a piece of the wood shot straight back at him and he jumped out of the way just before it speared him. It speared him, huh? That no, sounds like an exciting class. Because it was about, it was nice and pointy, and it was going to spear him, but he jumped out of the way. What happened to the wood? Piece of wood? It just flew off. It went flinging across the fucking uh, shop. <laughs> is what it did. Did it hit a child? No, nobody got hit with it, and the teacher jumped out of the way. And then but he was the one shoving the fucking piece of wood through the fucking table saw. Then he threw it. And he was doing it properly, but the piece of wood on the outside fucking bound up and the blade threw it back. He said, I quit right? this job now. So he showed us how to jump out of the way of the fucking piece of wood just kind of spear your ass. Yeah, yeah. jumping is probably not a good idea, dodging while you're. Dealing with no, it was sauce. a very good idea because we didn't have to do no first aid. Yeah. yeah. On our teacher. Jesus. You ever uh, uh, <laughs> lost, lost a finger? finger? I I only once almost lost my foot with a chainsaw, but I only ended up getting like a paper cut. Yeah, well, how'd foot. that happen? You had good boots. I I was working down at the Port of Grays Harbor. Manicuring logs and with, with a 064, a 064 with a three foot bar. Uh -huh. And I'm swinging that fucking thing around and whiz whizzing it around, knocking all the fucking branches off all the trees and all the knots on the trees. Yeah. And somehow I fucking I hit the gas and it hits the fucking bark on the fucking tree and went winging and oh, winging right across. Went right across my cork, cut a hole in my boot, and only gave me a paper cut. <laughs> wow. I did not, I, I cut a three inch hole in my cork, but fucking. What's a cork? I only got a, I only got like a paper cut, maybe two little small paper cuts out of the deal. What is a cork? A cork's a boot. They go up to your, halfway up your shin. Mm. Uh, let's see. Other questions. They got spikes on. They got spikes on the problem, so you can walk on the logs without slipping. Oh. Cork. I forgot. Cork. Manicuring. Cork. You call it manicuring with the tree. That's correct. That's correct. So yeah. they can load them all up on the ship. I thought you I thought said, said lawns, lawn. which is something. I think you manicure a lawn, right? That's like lawns are something you manicure a lot, right? That's correct. That's correct. But you also manicure a tree. You got to knock the limbs off the tree so that they can fit in the ship and not take up too much space. And they all tuck together nice and tight. You ever watch that Bulwark movie? That's good. Um, and trees. you got to knock the ends off them. You got to measure them, and knock the ends off them, make sure the ends are nice and flat. I knew someone who cut their finger off in wood shop. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. What happened? It wasn't a wood shop at a school, like I told you. I didn't mm. have a, I didn't have oh, yeah. a wood shop in my school, but I did work at um, Panorama City, oh, which is the retirement community, and oh. I worked in the TV station, 
studio that was in the basement. Like they did a TV channel that was made by the residents for the residents that just played just for the uh, just for the internal channel. Yeah, internal channel. And then right next to it was the wood shop, which is like a fully stocked up wood shop with all kinds of crazy gear and saws and like pretty much you know. A bunch of old retired guys want to have a wood shop, and so it's got everything. Some of them would take, you know, they move there and they like bring their, uh, their, their tools and donate Kill them saw. to, yeah, scroll saw, any saw, skill saw. saw, yep, table saw, compound saw, exactly, yeah, you're getting the idea. Anyway, so he was, I think, using a table saw, which I, you know, out of all the saws, I feel like the table saw most of the time is the one that really fucks you up. Yeah. And push something through. I don't know. I, I, did, I wasn't there, obviously, when it happened. But he one day. He obviously never used a piece of wood to push the shit through. I mean, he, his hand. he'd been doing it for a long, 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 long time. Like his whole life. Now he's old. Oh, okay. But so some. When, now, yeah. then he. Uh, then just made one mistake, and then he lost a whole finger. Basically down to the digit nubbin. Yeah, and then they, next time I saw him, yeah. Yeah. it was just like all sealed in. No fingernail, obviously, but it was just like sealed over with skin. Like the skin just grows back, whoop, and you got this like little nubbin finger. Did you put it back? Uh, I think with the table saw, you know, if you want to get it reattached, it's got to be a pretty clean cut. Oh. But the table saw will just really uh, chew it up, basically. Oh. Well... well. <laughs> if you want to lose a finger, you want to lose it as late in life as possible. <laughs> so you have <laughs> more of your life. My, uh, my, one of my fingers, my middle finger in my left hand, my, uh, it's my, uh, flipping, my flipping the bird finger there. It is, oh man, it like hurts, uh, like arthritis or something. No. No? I'm very skillful with a skill saw. I'm the master of the skill saw. What is a skill saw? Skill saw is one of them things where you got it covers. They've got a uh, guard that covers the blade. You got to spin the spin the guard all the way mm. up over the like top. A, like a like a portable table saw, huh? It's like an upside over the top table saw. Yeah. yeah. The table on the top table saw instead of the table. The blade sticking up. The blade sticks down. You're cutting and you stuff. You run right over the top of the wood and like burn right through the wood. You like fabricating doors for your rental houses, your mother's rental houses? I already did that once. Yeah? I don't, what kind of wood do you use? Oh, I just cut the fucking door off. But you can use oak. Yeah. yeah. Is that a softwood or a hardwood? <laughs> oak, hardwood. Okay. They have like, you go to the, like a Home Depot or whatever, they have different kinds of wood available to buy? Yeah. Like, like oak yeah. or plywood. pine? They got marine plywood. They got normal plywood. Could you build a house if you wanted to? I can build a whole entire fucking house. Why don't you build your own house then? Why don't you build a trailer? You should go, go buy some wood. Because, and, because I've gotten too many fucking tickets I had to pay for. Speeding, speeding tickets? Yeah, we've got to do those things. That's fact. I've had enough speeding tickets to pay for a whole fucking house. To, they they ruined you. I've money to buy a house or put down a house because fucking I always... Pay well, you money not, not, you're not going to need to buy a house. You build, build the house out of wood. Oh, you ain't shitting me. I would. But every fucking time these stupid fuckers keep buying their fucking houses and or these stupid fucking trailers... No, but you're going to build your whole... You, you, when do you when build the house? Exactly. One day I will build my own fucking house. When? 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 As soon as I fucking get with that woman. I thought that happened last year. Is that when you stopped talking to us? Well, I've since had my job jerk me around. My car fucked up, so my mom helped me buy a car, and that car is all fucked up. They mm. paid seven thousand dollars for the car, and it needs ten thousand dollars worth of work. All right. all right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is against to quit smoking. I mean, and that ain't helping me go get to see my girlfriend, because my transmission, I can't, I think I have big hills in between fucking me and that girl. Yeah, and she's your girlfriend now? 
I don't, I don't need to get run over by a fucking semi because I can't get up that fucking hill. No, nope. it was actually so the girl, the girl from the story, like your middle school teacher or whatever that you don't like, and you broke up with the girl, and you actually found that girl. It was actually that person. That's right. That's and, right. And it worked, and it kind of worked out. She asked me if I was going to kill her. I said, <laughs> uh-uh. no, I'm not going to kill you. Oh, that's but good. If I, found, if, I found, if I found that lady who took me, took you from me, I would definitely kill her. Oh. She told me, don't, don't do that. That's always my question before, like, like what do you do for a living? Then I meet somebody. I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. Are, Are you, you going to kill me? <laughs> no, but I, yeah, I found the one that I'm looking for, and wow. I'm waiting to get back, but I... Everything in my fucking life is holding me back yeah. where I got no money to get over there. Uh, the world is a dark place right now. Yeah. Hold me back. Yeah. yeah. Every fucking thing on the planet is trying to make me stay away. Yeah. Oh. But <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't the one. Not a sign, I'm huh? On my way, I'm on my way back. It's just a matter of getting rid of all these bullshit people in my life. and. Uh, mm. Like Are you gonna kill is, them? Yeah, he's gonna get. Eventually, my uncle's gonna get the fuck out of here by the year 2025. I told him by the first day of 2025. He's <laughs> yeah, out of here. he has three years. That's quite the ultimatum. You fucking goddamn straight, cause he's such a fucking lame, lame little fucking duckling that. Uh, that's true. He don't want to do nothing for oh, himself. That's, that's some takeovers. All right, I don't think there's a takeover. This is just. Oh, that's random? random? There is tape overs in here. It's uh, There's not... They're oh, less organized than usual. I'm sorry, that's okay. Here, yeah. He told me, if you if you can get me to where I got my windmills, I'll give you one of my windmills. Is it your, your uncle is your mother's brother? That one? That's right. Hmm. And then you're so... And your mother is still your neighbor, right? That's right. And my uncle being... Uh, he lost his oil company to his little sister. Oh, the Catholic? That's right. Was he, he not a key to want to be a Catholic? She fucked him out of his sort of the oil company. Oh, no. What about your mother? Uh, she fucked my mom out of the fucking oil company. Just really? She's such a bitch. She's such a bitch that my mom didn't want to be in business with her, so my mom just sold her her portion of the oil company. Wow. To get out of the fucking thing. She didn't want anything to do with them cretins. Well, that's a that's business a strategy. strategy. Uh, not really, but yeah, yeah, be enough of a cretin that nobody wants to be in business a with you. Cretin? <laughs> let you have the fucking. Uh, what is a, cr- a cretin? I've heard the. I've heard... You know, like a, a I thought cretin is like a like a, a sinner. A cretin, a cretin is a religious devil person. Yeah, a cretin is like a sinner. You're the cretin in this situation. She's the Catholic. And the cretin at the same time. A cretin is like a sinner. Like, you don't want to say cretin. That's like somebody who's, like, against God. And that's, like, something that you have to acknowledge, like, that, that you're into God to have to call somebody a cretin. You can't, like, be... That's like calling somebody a sinner. I thought a cretin was just, like, a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a weaselly person. I didn't think it was a religious thing. It's not a sinner? Not that I'm aware of. You're a sinner. No? Okay. Cretin. Cretin's Clearwater Revival. Sinner more than she's a Catholic, but she likes to be a Catholic. Yeah. yeah. Well, well um, I think we should listen to a Mr. I mean, no, you're Mr. Ginsburg. We should listen to. Uh, uh, we could call my brother. I want to listen to a yellow phone message and call him back. You can you can stay on the line while we do this cold phone call stuff, Mr. Ginsburg. Here's a yellow phone message. Okay, listen to this. Get hot on it. Hurry up, Freddie. Diamond. Producer Freddie, hurry up. Came from outer space, which is uh, I would want a diamond that came from space too. But I don't have that kind of money. Space so diamond. You ain't the only one that ain't got no money. make you a little sad. Because you realize that it has no... It's not sad. I don't know if it really makes me sad. But there's some sort of... You know... I do I'm have sad. I'm a mad. small level of longing for a world in which I could be present at a... Uh, you know... Space an diamond. Auction in the year 2022, where people are bidding Ooh. on a diamond from outer space with cryptocurrency, sure. just makes you realize that you know you are not you were blocked off from that. Have you seen this? You have no that's you like fancy it. people. Okay. You know, I'm not I'm not a fancy person. 
Do I, would I even want to be a fancy person? But you're writing your new book? Yes. yes. That's good. I wrote a book, Mr. Gensler. I remember I was thinking it would be fun if you just wrote a book. And it was just rambling with no sections, nothing, just writing. No, no sections. No rules besides that, just write. Um, I wonder what is going on with this book. It's like very anyway, similar to the first uh, book. In fact, <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, still, that's just a, with these diamonds, it's just a theory that they came from space. Um, apparently, that is not a definite, but. Black diamond, expected. huh? I think I saw these diamonds. He's Earth is roughly like, what, like yesterday. 4 billion? Yeah, this is the same, same series of messages. And then it said that oh, he's still talking. Back. Oh, he got cut uh, off, so he's still talking about the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's okay. weighing on his mind, you know? Wait, million or billion? Yep, yep. You know how it goes. Uh, billion. I do. The Earth is around 4 billion years old. He's been so the new you cool. after you uh, haven't been here. He's been leaving all the messages. So, oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Alpha. Or is it? Or is stepping it? up to the plate. Yeah. yeah. News story. Black diamond. Story. The I don't think he. Yeah, I told him that he, he's not. He's. I'm like you're. You're doing pretty good, but you know, Mr. Ginsu. I told him. You know. Uh, what else is in the headlines? Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, there's a dome. Um, a dessert shop. In Bangkok, Thailand. Yeah. You hear about this? Uh, there's a Bangkok, Thailand dessert shop, and they're getting ready for the Lunar New Year this year. It's called tape, uh, it says, Nam J Dessert Shop. Um, With uh, love from Megan. Yeah. Uh, sounds kind of dirty, dirty to me. Yeah. We'll see. No. We got some like Happy Birthday, Mr. President, or something. Yeah. yeah. Vibe for me. <laughs> well, so far it's nothing. All right, let's call Maryland, you up. Uh, you can stay on the line. Was Marilyn Monroe that did the Happy Birthday President? Yeah, it was. Did what JFK? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Mommy Dearest. That's good stuff oh, in here. Oh wow! Need a copy of that for the house? Kinda. Um. That's kind of like my mom. How did they know that Marilyn Monroe did that to the president? Isn't that like, wasn't that like an affair? Like the president had an affair? Yeah, but she no, did some sort of like... She did that to the president. It was the president and his fucking people killed her. They killed the Monroe, the JFK's people? Because did she do she did that in public or something? Like the, the Mr. President thing, I think she did. Yeah, oh, like okay, on TV okay. maybe. Hmm. But then they had an affair anyway? They did have an that's affair. She, you think so? Is that, is that documented? No, that's not documented. It's speculated. Hmm. Uh, maybe we should ask Dan. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. It was kept very quiet back then. It was like hush hush. Yeah. 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 Uh, they didn't want to oh. get blamed for it. Nothing on the tape? Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, there's some good tape overs. It's all mixed up in here. Uh, what is this? Who's Meg? Is this Megan? Megan? So my, name is all all about my name is all about Marilyn Monroe thing. Uh, uh. And who and who he thinks killed her. I, th I, I thought I, it was I, drug I, overdose. I oh, there's Megan. What? Wait. What's her name? Megan Some Kwan? teenagers can't be at their best because they smoke cigarettes. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> it's for Megan, I don't huh? I smoking cigarettes. Funny. Now, what the fuck? Yeah, uh, well, winners don't smoke, Mr. Gensu. <laughs> that's what that that's tape said. That's what, that's what Megan said. With love. Do what? That's what Megan said. This is, that what is, is a Megan weird thing? This is a weird tape. Didn't leave veil. Anti smoking says, with love for Megan. God uh, damn it. What? I really want to smoke a cigarette. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah. Um, Freddie I'm said that when you, you want to say you don't, don't want, want to. to. That's what you got to do to not. You say, I don't want to do it. You got to kind of learn to hate them. Oh, fuck that. I hate the people that are making me do not do it. I put my hate to do it. Yeah, raisins. Carrots. After the fucking 
fucking phone. Yeah, you don't have an answer. I'm going to answer. Hello, answer the fucking phone. Answer the fucking phone. Oh, he's calling me. Oh, sorry. Please leave a message after the tone. Yo, yeah, fellas, the program. You have about 15 minutes to call us back. Phone. But you can't call us back because Mr. Gibson's on the line, so we'll see how that goes. Hurry up, yo, fellow. He probably won't answer. He, he, he works at night. Oh, shit. He works. He's a knight. He's a knight. Are you a day or a knight? Don't forget to feed your horse. Like a knight, like a knight of the round table. Yep, he's got to have a horse, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Feed your horse. I don't like horses. They have people teeth. Horses like me. <laughs> yeah, why? Hi. Well, I'm not sure if they just like me smelling like marijuana and they're smelling like the ganja or what, but... You, horses are like horse weed? I went over to my friend's house and went out where they were feeding the horses and shit, and they got this horse, this big motherfucking horse. He, he walked up right in front of me and he wouldn't let me out of the fucking pen. You think hor horses like weed? Oh, I bet they, I guarantee the goddamn like weed. They just, they just like to get stoned. <laughs> have, you, have you ever <laughs> gotten a horse stoned before? I have not. Oh, well, However, what makes you think they would like it? Um, well, who, who wouldn't? Oh, okay. okay. I know little dogs like to get stoned. Yeah, have and you I'll, gotten little I'll, dogs stoned? Stone? Well, I have. This one little dog particularly loves getting stoned. My, I know this other dog. Um, I had weed hidden in my car, and whenever I found it, half my bag of weed was gone, and the little dog's over there stoned as hell. I just eating? Yep, yep. Just eating? I thought you can't, they have to like, make it into food or something. You can't just eat it. No, you can just eat it. You just like, like, eat the plant? No, you can eat it. Definitely, you can just eat it. It people like to fucking put it in food, but it's not required. You just eat the plant. You just grow the plant. You just like take a bite of the plant while it's in the woods or whatever. Or when the bud's ready to smoke, you just take the bud and you stick it in your mouth and you chew it up and swallow it. Really? Like a pill like a pill, and then fucking a little while later, you'd be fucking all stoned, going woohoo. Remember the beginning of Super Troopers? Where uh, they're like when getting pulled jail? over for weed, or they're getting pulled over, Bye. and yeah. then uh, and then they're like, oh, you gotta eat all the weed, eat all the weed, and he like eats all the Ooh, weed and huh? starts tripping out. Not there the Super go. Troopers. Was, um, mushrooms. No, it was weed. Huh. No, it was weed. So <laughs> whenever I was in jail, Whenever they took me on my fucking trip of a whole bunch of different jails, because they thought I was gonna, ru I was at risk of running. Um, but he's that guy's like, like real. I mean, in the movie, he's all like, everything wow. Like, yeah, they're messing with him. It was already he already, he already smoked a bunch of weed, and oh, okay. then he's uh, ate a bunch of weed. He ate the whole bag of weed. He was just so incredibly stoned he couldn't even. He he was getting confused about reality. They were also messing with him. Oh, okay. We were switching jail. This guy gave me a piece of weed, and I ate it. And by the time I got to the next jail, they're checking me into the next jail, and I was just smiling. And the guy is checking me in, looking at me like, "What the fuck? You tripping, dog? You 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 you're like happy to be here or something?" <laughs> what a Spider-Man photo finish. I was happy to be there. Yep. In jail? Yep, I got what, stoned in jail. What'd you do? I just told you, I ate weed. Well, what, what were you in for? I was in for a while. They weren't going to let me out for a while. <laughs> yeah. I gave me a hunk of weed to help him get rid of it. And uh, I said, fine, I'll eat it. 
they they offered it to whoever wants them. And I'm like, fine, I'll help you get rid of that shit. This is By like the time a... we got to the next jail, where they uh, signed me in, I was smiling. <laughs> 1978 live action Spider Man. The guy fucking signed me in, jail, just looking at me like. What in the hell? I heard you were not in a good mood, and now you are in a very good mood. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. In uh, SP2. So it made my stay in jail a whole lot better. Yeah, I guess you're only in jail. It must have been for like, what, eight hours or less or something. How long does the weed stay? <laughs> Go. Uh, here's two, look at 2018. We should call my brother, too. I want to do the message yeah, of the future. All, all I can future. say is... All my I brothers on the tape. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, yeah. I don't really know. Hello, future. That's about all I have today. Oh, I forgot my lines. Yeah, I forgot my lines. Andrew's here. I forgot my wine. Bye. Wine. That's what Carl used to always say. Here. Where's it? Carl. Where's Carl? Carl is... He's around. Freddy sees him on the streets. He is always... Line. I forgot my lines. I forgot my lines. Well, I know what Carl's line is. Uh huh. What? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't want him to know that I know which bus line he's on. All right. Let's. Whoa. Let's call on my brother. He has Fridays off, so he's there. Yeah, just tell Carl I miss fucking BSing with him. All right. That was like six years ago now. Yeah, well, he, 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 he can sure cuss up a storm. Yeah. yeah. Andrew, yeah. it's a program on TV. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. Mr. Ginsu's here, too. Hey, Mr. Ginsu. How's it going? I'm quitting smoking, so... I'm quit smoking, and so now I'm stressed out. Well, uh, what happened? Well, I'm trying to get a job. So, Kenny. Fucking... Yeah, I'm going to get a new job, too. My my job is basically, it turns out to be a gig job at the government, so now uh, it was over, so I'm going to get a new job now, too, but I'm, I'm not going to quit smoking cigarettes. You don't even smoke cigarettes. Yeah, that's right. I guess I'm not going to, I'm not going to quit. You can't quit if you don't start. I've been meaning to start. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm, I'm trying to quit cigarettes, but I have to start first. <laughs> Sucker. Hey, Mr. Ginsu, uh, do you like Cheers? The TV show? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why not? I, I never been into the Cheers TV show. Oh yeah? yeah. My brother's watching yeah. it. How far into it are you? Cheers the alley. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's who is that? Well, Cheers the alley was uh, on, on Cheers, Cheers. and Cheers in that movie. Look who's talking. Yeah. But then in the '90s, she was famous for being. Obese. Yeah. She gained a lot of weight, and and then she was like maybe mean too. She got like huge and mean. Yeah, I think she's like a Trump supporter or something. But she was also obese. Yeah, very fat. Yeah, she's probably probably bad. No. Yeah, they're like, oh, the alley looks good now, but it's like, oh, she's seventy. <laughs> What do you think about Kirstie Alley, Mr. Ginsu? I, I got no opinion. <laughs> no opinion about Kirstie Alley. Frank, Frank, Frank also has no opinion about Kirstie Alley. I do. I just have no opinion. Popular opinion says she's fat. Yeah. That's okay. Um, it's okay. I'm getting way too. I identify as fat. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. 
Is everyone yeah. in the back? Yeah. yeah. I really, do you know, Kenny? What? That girl I like? Yeah? yeah. I think she got kind of fat. Well, that's okay. okay. Well, it's like a little skinny guy going out with kind of fat. That so happens a lot of time. Yeah, well, that's going to be me. That's good. The, the girl I like is kind of fat. That's, that's fine. fine. <laughs> well, she, I really, she's not really fat per se, but she got a fat ass. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> me, I'm more of a fucking, I like a little tight little ass. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. fashionable anymore. They're well, getting they're getting the implants these days. It doesn't really fucking, I'm 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 having to deal with it, but I can definitely get past that she has a fat ass. <laughs> oh yeah. And, uh, the Vegas Vegas can be used as a The celebrities celebrities are getting implants now. She's very pretty, and I like her for her personality. That's good. That's good. And uh, the fact that she has a fat ass doesn't mean shit to me. Well, I think, I think that's, that's good. good. And the kids are into it these days. It's uh, the, ki the the celebrities are getting implants, butt implants. You have got to be shitting me. Nope. Nope. No, he, he's okay. right, Mr. Ginsu. They are getting butt implants. It's it's fashionable right yeah. now. The the small butt is is uh, passe. Yeah, nobody wants a small butt anymore. No fucking way. Shut the fuck up. You so you, off. you have a fashionable you a uh, uh, lady butt there. That's, yeah, that's exactly the kind of butt you want right now. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 am, yes, yes. I am, I, I am attracted to a tight little fucking ass. Not. I, uh, I would recommend ass. not really bringing it up with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all too fucking bad. Um, well, you already brought her up? You're like, I'm huh? not attracted to a fat ass. <laughs> I'm attracted to her and her personality. Her mm. ass does not do anything for me. Oh, well, well, that's too bad. But there is a lot of women out there. I'm, I'm watching them and I'm seeing them with their little yogurt pants. And they have some nice little fucking fine little asses on them. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, man, you ain't shitting me. I just fucking, I just about die every time I see a fine little ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, a lot of problems. Um, what'd you for dinner? Um, chicken nuggets and freaking them pieces of potato wedges. Jojo's? Jojo's, yeah. Did you cook them yourself out of potatoes or are, you fr are they frozen? No, I went to Walmart. Mm. You got nuggets there? I I could have I could have had fish, but I already ate. And then my mom wanted to go get groceries and shit, so she wanted me to go get fish. And but I already already ate, so. You bought the fish from Walmart? I don't, like, I don't like eating cold fish and cold things, so. Yeah, cold fish does not sound good. You bought the fish yeah. from Walmart though? I'm not fucking saying where I got <laughs> Super fish. fish spot. I guess it must I'm not sell fish where I got the fish or where they just tried to give me a cold flu or whatever the fucking chick had. Probably you know, the virus. Make me go to the sick chick. Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did, you, did you make did you the make chicken, chicken nuggets, nuggets or you buy those from Walmart, Walmart also? Walmart. They were already pre-cooked in the hot shelf thing. Nuggets, huh? Or was it uh, popcorn chicken? Popcorn chicken. They're shaped, at, at Walmart, they're shaped like little circles, huh? I don't know what the fuck, but it was already pre-cooked at the fucking deli thing. Chicken donut holes, basically. Yeah, well, I, I, I called them chicken balls. That's what it is, chicken balls. Chicken balls, right? That's what I, 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 I remember when I went to Walmart, this was years ago, though, but I was like, hey, I'm gonna get some of those chicken balls. <laughs> and they're like, what? I don't know, I don't know. They're like, okay, they were laughing at me. You want chicken nuts? Chicken nuts, chicken balls. I don't think uh, chickens don't have balls, do they? Are all the chickens you eat at the store, or if you buy chicken, they're all females? Like the meat chickens? No, well, roosters got nuts, and chickens got, chicken got gizzards. 
chickens, uh, roosters have nuts, so they're not like hanging out, hanging off of them right there. They're, 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 they're on the inside. Huh. Um, but you can try to kick them in the nut. I mean, if you kick the chicken, it'd be pretty messed up in general. But uh, some, of them, some of them roosters are pretty mean. They're all females. I know I've seen a video where they like have all those like <laughs> they're going through the uh, the the baby chickens. Like, have you seen this video? They're like chicks, you know, little yellow chicks, and they're looking for the men or the males and the females, and then the males they throw into the grinder while they're alive. They just like have this little grinder hole, and they're like picking up the ch the chicken, and it's like struggling, and they're like looking at their uh, genitals, and <laughs> some of them just throwing into a grinder. Like we're all going, there's like this little grinding in them up. I don't know what to do with the grinded up chicken, like baby chickens. Yeah, well the worst part is chopping their little beaks off. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah, chop off the beaks, for, put them in the grinder. Not very nice. Day, and that fucking job sucks. Well, you did that. I did. You grinded up the males? No, I chopped their fucking beak off. Oh my god, did they, they, they did it hurt them? It's, it's a, you fucking goddamn straight, it's <laughs> a fucking hot razor fucking blade. Oh no. And you gotta stick their little beak into this hole and then press down on that thing and it hacks their fucking beak off right in front of their little nostrils. Oh, we gotta do message in the future. Where? Oh my god. Where, where was that? They're in Olympia. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm over gonna... there at one of them chicken farms. You, you there, Andrew? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to mess with the future here. And that job is so hot, you have to go in them barns. The barns are it's hot. all heated up. They heat them barns up pretty fucking hot. Too much. So that the little chicks can survive. Hey, future! It's us, the past. What do you have to say? Oh, you're in the you're in the past again, huh? Yeah, yeah we're, we're in the future. future. Got some more boxes. Put some tapes away. Talking to Mr. Ginsu and Andrew. Still living the past. And Andrew. The other fellow's still obsessed with those space diamonds. Chickens and butts and quitting cigarettes and fish. fish. Bye, Bye, future. future. My uh, friend has a, a miniature stop sign. Yeah, it's the show's over. I'm running the credits. Okay, it's, bye. It's a black bye. Stop sign. Yeah, what is, what is it? It's a little fucking rock. It's like a black stop sign. Uh -huh. It's in the shape of a stop sign, but it's black. And it's the size of a grain of rice. What? What? You never, I've never seen anything like it, but he found it and went, I'm like, what the fuck is what? that? He found a grain of rice? How did he find it? How, it's so small. You... It's very fucking small. It's the shape of a stop sign. An octagon? Yes. And it's a little Multi Fridays. TC TV, the way we're going to talk about this first video. My car plays South by Come, Rebecca, my boy, Northwest. First of all, Steve, I said thank you. And viewers, it's you who are watching. Thank you. Uh oh, what the? Oh, that's in the tape. You never see anything like it. Hey, John, call me. The show's over, Mr. Ginsu. Hell yeah, Dad. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later.